So did President Trump just declare a trade war with our closest allies? Joining us, Steve Odland with the Committee for Economic Development of the Conference Board and the former CEO of AutoZone and Office Depot, and John Rutledge, Chief Investment Officer of Safanad and an architect of President Reagan's economic plan. Gentlemen, good to have you with us. Steve, I'll Hello. pose the question to you first. I don't care what the administration tells me. The markets are going to jump to the conclusion that we are going to enter or we, are, we might even be in a trade war. What's your take on what's going on? Well, I don't think the markets tell you that because the NASDAQ is actually up. The S&P is down less than a half. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's not a, a, a big deal. But the, but the administration has said over and over again, we don't expect a trade war. We're not going to start a trade war. There will be no trade war. Steven Mnuchin has said this. Larry Kudlow has said this. Uh, the Secretary Ross said it as recently as this morning. So why then would they put tariffs on? They're putting tariffs on because every time they do, they get action. And that action then can be released, you know, a week later or a couple weeks later. But it's the only thing that moves it forward. You can't sit at a table with no chits except to walk away. So by putting the tariffs on, they then say, well, look, you want to deal with us. We want to make some motion here. You have to, you have to deal with us and, so and, and move your thing. it's all part of the art of the deal. Yeah, John, it, it, it's you, all negotiation. Do you agree? I think what they're doing is totally irresponsible. Trade policy is not done by announcements from presidents and cabinet members. It's done by negotiation between teams ahead of time. Sending Wilbur on an airplane is not, is not going to accomplish anything. And I think the, the response we get from the EU and our neighbors is, is, uh, is not going to be positive. We need to work with these guys to figure this stuff out. In particular, the greatest single risk right now to the financial markets is Italy. Italy is one of, our large, one of the largest exporters of steel. And so if you put steel and aluminum tariffs on the EU, the Italy financial markets, which are now reeling from having right-wing government in place, are, are, very, are much more likely to knock out the euro uh, and uh, European uh, asset prices. So but this in the is, process uh, of doing this, this that's going to hurt the EU much more, which could, you know, to Steve's point, force the EU to actually come to the table and offer something up themselves if they know that Italy could be a, a, a big weak point there. I mean, Italy for all, is a bigger weak point to the EU than it is to the United States at the end of the day. Italy is a weak point for the global financial market because there are tons of Italian loans out there in the bond market. And when markets fail, they don't just fail in one place. This idea of negotiating by pointing guns at each other's heads and say, I'll pull the trigger is really stupid. And, it and is not the way you conduct a trade negotiation. That's exactly how the Europeans put it. We're not going to do this with a gun to our head. Steve, I'm, I'm surprised to hear you sort of defending the administration's policy. Oh, I'm, not I'm, not defend I'm not defending them. I'm, exp I'm trying to explain what they're trying to do. It, it doesn't sound like the best way to do it. It's not the way that we've conducted trade policy or others have for the past 30 years. I don't deny that. But I think that they're unhappy with where they are. They've been trying to conduct trade you know, for 30 years in the same fashion, and we are where we are. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again I guess and I, expecting the different results. The definition of insanity this is, is shooting different... yourself in the head. It is not doing the same Steve, thing. Steve, my they're question is... They're not shooting over themselves over. in the head. We a few don't weeks have ago, a they did the policy. same thing with China. And within a week, China had relented on three points. Again, I'm not endorsing this as the way I would do it. I'm just simply explaining it is effective. It has worked for this administration already. We can talk about whether it's the right way or the wrong way or, you know, following rules or not. But the objective here is to move this along and to have fair and uh, fair trade. And the, the point That's of totally view of the administration nuts. That is absolutely is, ridiculous. Look, this administration It's not ridiculous. No it is the point. Policy. It's what the administration Tuesday, is trying to do. Hold on, guys. You guys Tuesday, are talking at the same there's time. there's no trade war. On Wednesday, there's tariffs. We have separate factions in the White House fighting over what to do with trade. Uh, one day one group wins, one day the other. This is not the way you establish financial market policy. We need stable policies, not crazy, uh, risky I, policies. I'm not, what I'm gentlemen not do the facts say? What gentlemen do the facts <laughs> say here about the level of tariff that the EU may place on some American goods versus the level of tariffs that the, uh, that the United States places on on goods, number one. And number two, what about Wilbur Ross's point that what we're talking about here is a tiny, tiny dollar amount of trade, really, in the context of massive multi-trillion dollar economies? 
Go ahead. Tra uh, trade policy and tariffs are administered one product at a time. It's an essentially <laughs> micro business. The reason it's that way is because when you establish a tariff on, say, cheese, like Europe has uh, said they would do back, that's aimed at Wisconsin. If you establish a tariff on <clears throat> pipe and rebar, that's aimed at Nucor. So th it's a tit-for-tat battle on, uh, on tariffs. It's not, a, it's not an overall trade deficit. You can't, uh, you can't move the overall trade deficit just by making an overall uh, policy announcement. Steve, the question I was going to ask you is, what American business in this country, besides a steel company, do you think is supportive of the president's strategy? I don't know. I, I think the point, though, is that what we've been doing hasn't worked. There are no agreed upon rules on how you negotiate these things, and hence you see a variety of things. They're trying something different. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.